Hi everybody, it's Rob and I'm here with Evil Client and Guru. I'm starting this tutorial with Pedal to the Metal by Dazzle Dry. Will you please forward this video to Dazzle Dry and tell her because I forget and I want her to know that I am using and loving her polishes. So, I'm going in with, uh, this is my second coat. The first coat I got all up on the cuticle and everything good. And then I, I clean off. It's a liberal coat. And then with the Black Wet n Wild, I only have two polishes. I'm going to throw down about two to four black dots. Then with my liner brush that you get at RobinMosesNailArt.com, it's called the Wand. I go in and with the top of my brush, with my brush completely straight up and down, I swirl the nails. Now, over the years, this technique was called nail swirling nail marbling and then when I started YouTube I saw that Simple Little Pleasures did a water marble and that messed up my title of marbling so I didn't know what to call it and it hadn't been named drag marbling yet so all of my tutorials are called no water marbling and I'm gonna keep it that way because there's so many different names for this that I'm just gonna keep it simple and I know you guys can find it I have over 70 designs in the water marble playlist um, that have every holiday included and everything you can think of. But this is a very simple way to start out your water marbling, I mean your, your nail marbling, because I'm only using two colors. When you only use two colors, your polish stays ni nice and wet and you don't have to worry about time as much as you do when you're using five and six colors. So I am pulling from the design like this, brushing my brush off onto the, pal to the paper towel, then going back in, and because I'm using Dazzle Dry, this all dries in six minutes, so I take off excess like this, take off excess like this, and make it very whimsical. And when it's finished, it'll be like this. Now this is a very simplistic design, but now I'm going to get some bling out and some black paint that is acrylic paint that you buy at the craft store and meet you back. Okay, so now I have my black acrylic paint out and I have some gold hollow glitter out. Now, with the black, these nails have been drying for about six minutes or so and they're already pretty dry. If you take in and uh, the excess off while you're swirling, they, they don't dry any slower or faster than any other design that you paint while you're doing nail art. Because while you're painting over the top of the nails, the paint, the polish underneath is drying. And so I know that's kind of hard to understand if you don't paint nails all the time or a lot, but it does dry just as fast because I've pulled, see, I've pulled all the excess off. Now I take the paint and then just kind of dab on where I pulled off very lightly and kind of finished the, the design and give it structure in the points where it kind of like either um, smeared or doesn't look all the way perfect, etc. So this, I think that this would be a wonderful no water marble to start with if you're new to no water marbling and then after you get this under control then I would add a second color and a third and a fourth and I think that my limit was okay I had red orange yellow green blue purple black and white on a French tip now that's nine colors on a French so I was working with ten colors and that was my maximum and that was in Vegas so your polish dries faster in the desert than it does here so I might try to do one here just to see if I can still do it because I'm out of what I'm out of, not really out of the loop but just out of uh, challenging myself to that capacity but if you guys want to see me work with 10, I, I will. So thumbs up and leave a comment and say, I want to see you work with 10. So I don't forget because I, after I edit, I don't watch the video again. That's why I ask you guys to share with the products I use because I forget what products I use and I don't have time to share that stuff. So I'm going in there and then 
but I want the products that I use to know that I love them and I do my best it's nothing personal just so you guys know okay now I'm adding a little bit of top coat to my hollow gold dun 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 and it pulls to the side as always it kind of rolls off the pile and then I roll it in and make a yummy glitterific fantastical okay then I'm gonna just highlight in areas this chunky gold highlights here and there a little bit this adds dimension and it adds an elegance that you cannot recreate another way and I can't even tell you that enough. Like, like, there's no other look like it. It's so pretty. And it never goes out of style. This is perfect for New Year's. So that's why I wanted to get this out. Because these are perfect New Year's nails if you don't want to have all the bottles and the numbers on your fingers and all that stuff. I, I personally don't like painting a lot of uh, New Year's nails because after the new year, my well, it used to be, my, a lot of my clients were hung over and they would call me and say, I hate this design and want me to repaint it the day after New Year's. Call, so, did you tell them to get a life? <laughs> yes, of course I did, but you know what? They still call and, and so, I, so I decided early in my career to do nails that, that reflect New Year's and add to it, but that don't define it so that you have to go in and change everybody's polish the day after because my clients were spoiled. The human race is very blessed to have you, Robin. Oh, well, thank you, darling, as you, my guru. <laughs> my guru totally helped me today with a, with a personal crisis. We talked about it. So don't let her fool you. Life's a bowl of cherries. We're going to hear that. I don't know. <laughs> Some doofus said it. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Huh. Are you kidding? Uh, it was in a movie. Life's a bowl of chocolates or cherries? Ah, uh, I'll say cherries. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> box of chocolates. Box, of, a box chocolates. of chocolates. <laughs> okay, you can have chocolates. I'll have From cherries. So if you guys, yeah, Forrest Gump. Forrest but, Gump. But, yeah, but if you believe in the mandala effect, then then it's life. Ah, oh, it changes. Wasn't that in the movie with uh, years ago with uh, Cher and? Uh, Jack Nicholson played the devil. The Mandela effect. And when the witches started eating the cherries, he started getting physically affected. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Well, I don't know. In the comment section below, leave your comment. Because <laughs> they get to Google and tell me all. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's like all. The, wi the witches of Eastwick. I think yes. It was and every time he does they, something. those three witches would eat the cherries, he'd have some contortion of pain. You're right. <laughs> You're totally, I totally forgot about that, but it stuck in my subconscious. Uh, that's why I said life's a bowl of cherries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, isn't that kind of evil like your nails? <laughs> I'm going to stop here before my video catches on fire. Meet you back. <laughs> okay, and here is the end result. And... They are beautiful and timeless. So I hope you guys try them and show me by hashtagging inspired by Robin Moses and share it with me on Instagram. Um, brushes are available at robinmosesnailart.com and because of everything going on with the internet, sharing these videos of your favorites are, is more important than ever. And so I am asking you for your support by sharing and liking and commenting because that's what keeps us up in the numbers of people sh uh, uh, seeing and therefore we won't go under the radar. So I will see you back with more. Everybody have a great night. And for those of you guys who need to see the thumbs, bam. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Okay, so those are some of my New Year's nails. I will see you back with more. Bye. Bye. Boop.